This is the airframe subsystem. They are responsible for designing and making an airframe for the rocket. Today, they are here to do an infusion to make the rocket's fin can body tube. An infusion is a manufacturing process where dry fabric is inserted into a mold and resin is infused into the fabric with vacuum pressure to make a strong and light outer body tube for the rocket. Right now. What's a mold? <laughs> no. Okay. Right now we just did the practice run of materials so we just need a more Right now we're actually doing it for real this time. So we are supporting the mold on the down. Um, just put it on the surface. We're pretty focusing on the edges of the mold just so it doesn't cut through the vacuum bag because it's super sensitive. And any little sort of bump, any sort of little rough edge or cut could easily cut open that vacuum bag and then your part will be off. So that's what we're doing right now. After that, you'll actually be inserting material with super sensitive And then we'll go through inserting custom materials and then vacuum bag. What's Super 77? Uh, it's a spray adhesive that we're going to use on the fabric that we insert to keep it like flush with the mold in place so that it's easier mm. to insert the next one. Uh, right there. Why does this look different to that? So that, that's, yeah, that's due to the weave of the fabric. Like, this is Textream 80. It's not very structural. It's an aerodynamic and like it looks good. So we put that on the outside when we want our tubes to, to look nice on the outside and we also want it to be like this, this we're not really too concerned about the structure of this tube. That's why we have two plies of texture and only one ply of the other stuff. So the other stuff is like uh ply max on 48, like two by two, twill, and double bias, a lot of, lot of fancy words. It's structural, so it has a like fabric heat on plus or minus 45 degree angles. It's just, you know, overall, it, it's what provides the strength of the entire part. It's what we use to build thickness for the entire part, and ultimately that's the... Uh, uh, that's because the... What am I allowed to say on camera? Is it that when we, like, when you have carbon fiber in contact with aluminum, it grows. That's like a redox reaction, whatever, right? So like, the one of them's a cathode, one of them's an anode, yeah. and so they rust. And that's why we have like that innermost ounce of fiberglass is to provide that separation between the carbon fiber and like the aluminum yeah, materials. And so on a high level, this is to make the rocket body smooth on the outside, and the other layer is to make the rocket body strong. Yes. Okay. Super. As a warning, the industrial chemicals such as spray adhesive, epoxy resin, and composite fabric being used are highly toxic and may cause serious harm or death if used improperly. Do not try to follow these methods unless you know what you're doing. Our members are acting in accordance with our established procedures to minimize risk. Since this layup, we've continued to review our practices and implement improvements to address some safety concerns observed in this footage. Super 77 okay. B-roll. Mm. Cardiovascular system may displace oxygen and cause rapid suffocation. <laughs> Basically, means don't, don't like huff the Super 7 side. Okay, so what are we doing right now? So right now, we're going to double glove. Basically, what this means is we want to have multiple layers of protection on our hands so that if we need to take off a top layer of gloves, we're still protected. So what I'm doing is I'm going to tape my gloves to my coat here. And then I will put on a second pair of gloves on top of this. And then this way I'm like insulated no matter if I need to change my clothing. So we have multiple layers. If we need to change in the heat of the moment, it's actually exposed.
It worked. Hello, the camera. So explain, what is this thing we just put in for? Let's say inlet line. So what happens is, like, how a resin infusion works, right, is you have like epoxy and vacuum on the other end. And what happens is the epoxy pulls, is like pulled, there's a, a like a poly tubing line, a plastic line that connects the, like, the your reservoir of resin to here. And so what happens is when you pull vacuum on this side, obviously everything wants to be pulled towards the vacuum. So what happens is it pulls your resin through your tubing, through into this inlet. And what this inlet does is it why there's like spiral wrap all around here is that it goes through here and then distributes all along the spiral wrap and then through the mold from towards the vacuum. And then that's basically how the resin feed works. Yeah. TLD, your next step is vacuum making. So, the pleats that you will be forming will form an S, as the name suggests. Which I had a picture. It wasn't the procedure, but other than that. It's like, got like a little circle from the inside of the mold. Yeah. Alright, so you're not like small yep. vacuum bag and then big vacuum bag. Obviously, you can't stick those together. Yeah. So, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. This okay, well, is the catch pot that we're not supposed to use. We're supposed to use our own. But uh, basically, when you have a hose attached to a part yeah. and you're pulling on it, when there's wet resin, sometimes resin gets pulled through. And if this isn't here, then it would get pulled through and then into the vacuum pump. So instead, it gets pulled through and then it just drops into the bottom. But we have our own cash pots, so basically this end will be connected to our part, and this end goes to here, so as the resin comes through, then it'll just like drip down into there. And then the vacuum keeps getting pulled through. So that's what all this is. It's semi fluid resin. It's probably still pretty. Yeah. Fresh. Like the, the insides will solve themselves. It's mainly just the outsides. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to do And then you'll also tape in your... Um, you'll tape it to the inside. You will see. So what I do is just like So are we done now? 
Salt Shaker.